Hi everyone, this is Bob McCabe with Technique Peak. I'm, I'm here to uh, show a video on shoulder horizontal adduction mobilization. And we're going to do this one with uh, movement. Therefore, uh, some would call it a mobilization with movement. So the purpose of this mobilization is to improve horizontal adduction. So we have patients that have uh, pain when reaching across their body. Uh, for example, uh, when when showering or um, uh, dressing or uh, any horizontal adduction activity. So this one is to specifically improve that motion and decrease pain. Uh, one important concept with any mobilization is to retest immediately after the mobilization to see if there's been an improvement. So we'll assume that uh, the patient, uh, Donis, has uh, pain during horizontal adduction and I would ask him how much pain he has with that motion and we would get a number one out of ten. And then when we do our mobilization, we're going to take our mobilizing hand and go right off of the chromium, right as soon as you pass the chromium. That's where we're going to apply the force. And we want to make sure that the shoulder is just a little bit more off the end of the table so that when we immobilize the humerus, we're not driving it into the table. And we take up the slack out of the shoulder by applying a little bit of a distraction. I'm going to switch my hand position to the wrist. And what we're going to do is apply a, a downward posterior glide while we horizontally adduct the arm. So it's almost like a scooping motion. I'm always going to apply force perpendicular to the humerus. So initially, I'm applying my force essentially to the floor, but then as we come across, my direction of force is changing to go lateral, almost like a, a scooping motion, because we always want to stay parallel, or perpendicular, I should say, to the humerus. And in this one, I don't really count. I just will do this more or less for one one to two minutes. And I'm pulling at the wrist, bringing it into horizontal adduction. Basically, we want, we want to take it over just shy of causing any impingement or pain. We'll do a couple more. And then following that mobilization, we would uh, immediately reassess and check to see uh, if the horizontal adduction has improved or if there's less pain. And if that was the case, then uh, we would continue with the mobilization. Thanks for tuning into this video, and this is Bob with Technique Peak.